Do people who look like me belong in this place? You're not indigenous to here, clearly. Well, I'm not, personally. A lot of people were born and bred here. Oh yeah, but that doesn't make them indigenous. I could be born in a stable, it doesn't make me a horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I recently joined a telegram group in Britain run by someone called Jada Franson. A quick search and you find several conspiracy theories regarding China and the virus. But in some ways, the comments left by other people in the group can be even worse. A UK government report on COVID names Jada Franson as one of the far-right forces radicalizing young people. She's been convicted and jailed for harassing the Muslim community before, but it seems since the COVID pandemic, she's found a new target. When you mentioned about the threats against you, I was a little surprised. How often does that happen to you? Oh, daily, if I, if I were to pay attention. Do you think this is specifically about you or generally sort of the world is quite dangerous for people of your ethnicity? Specifically, it's about me and what I've said and what I've done. You don't think the world overall is quite dangerous oh, for no, white people? Oh, absolutely. I believe that, the, especially this country, is very dangerous. For white people? Increasingly more dangerous for white people, thanks to mass immigration and multiculturalism, yes. I grew up in South East London. I'm not, it's not safe for me to be in South East London anymore because I am white. I did see you posting in the Telegram channel that it's a Chinese-made virus. It's the Wuhan virus, this evil virus that China unleashed onto the world. Uh, well, the Telegram, the, the Telegram channel isn't just managed by me, so there are other admins. And I know that a lot of admins share a lot of kind of populist um, content. I, I'll be completely honest with you, I do not sit and hold a massive grudge against China. But the things that went out on your Telegram channel have had real life effects. We've seen people who look like me, they're either Chinese or perceived to be Chinese, getting attacked oh, in a really, street. Listen, my Telegram channel has got about 2000 people on it. So if you, if you think that that reached the masses and encouraged someone to attack someone that looks like you, I think you're just buying into this blame culture, right? Do you feel it's wrong for people to attack Chinese or East Asian looking people? Of course, it's ridiculous. It's, I mean, it's, look, I, I am not a multiculturalist. I do not want my nation flooded with different ethnicities. I think I've made that very clear, mm -hmm. but I am a Christian. And, I, and of course, people attacking someone because they look like they're, they're Chinese or, or, or Asian, that's just, I mean, there's anybody who condones that is a moron. Would you be willing to tell your followers and that it's not, not okay? I shouldn't need to tell people, don't attack folk. I shouldn't need to do that. If it's entirely up to you, what would Britain look like? We, we, look, this is a white European Christian nation. And that is how I would like it to remain. Do people who look like me belong in this place? Well, it depends on what you, what you mean by belong. If you, you're not indigenous to here, clearly. Well, I'm not, personally. A lot of people were born and bred here. Oh yeah, but that doesn't make them indigenous. I could be born in a stable, it doesn't make me a horse. <laughs> people should stay in their respective nations. And then we can enjoy each other's culture when we visit. I'm really struggling to understand this on an individual basis. I sort of live here. My husband is Welsh. Does that make you uncomfortable? Personally, I wouldn't marry outside of my race. Why is that? Because I'm a nationalist. It means that I love you... my people, I love my race, and I want to see the continuation, the continuation of my people and my race. And by me mixing, races, that's not seeing the continuum of my race or yours. In person, Jada Franson feels more amusing than menacing, but the toxification of the online environment she's contributed to still reverberates. Thank you for spreading your virus across the world. 
Let's all eat a diseased bat to celebrate what's the worst that could happen. Thanks, China. Don't even think about bringing your germs here. We don't want you. Where are you finding these comments? Are you on some right-wing website? Um, it's just on Facebook. So Boris Johnson posted a video wishing a happy Chinese New Year. Most of the comments that I saw coming right up at the top of the comments were quite extreme. A few weeks into my stay in the UK, another racially motivated attack on an ethnic Chinese minority. I defended myself, but there were just too many of them, so I was punched from like a lot of people. Did anyone help you? Uh, the security did, um, did nothing to help me.